possible. Whatever I go, I don't care. That's the number one goal. It might be a process. I might have to go back to that song and go back more than one session. Mm -hmm. I don't care. The end result is hot. You never know how many sessions your favorite artist had to do for one song. It might the production might take long. Okay, you might have to do a rhythm section now. You might have to record the freaking pianos and do this. Even the Hey My song I was playing. You recorded the vocals on that one, so then I had did another session where I did the drums. Yeah. And then I had another session where Ev came and did some extra ad libs. Right. Oh, I mean, hold up, this is one of the views on there. I'll get them back. But another thing is, what you said, back to what you said about a lot of artists ain't doing it, I tell you why. Why they don't want to come with that shit? They don't care. Rap has become a quick hustle. It's like yeah, niggas up there sell crack. You don't <laughs> care about the quality of this shit. Yeah. They just it's they a just quick sell. hustle. It's a quick hustle. That's why you could do a song about pour off syrup on the bitch. Pour some syrup on pour the bitch. Man, eat shit. my dick. Man, have to eat shit. my shit. And that be a song that people like, both not be happy about. It's a hustle. Cause they trying to get that money. If they bring the paper, they don't care. I so, so that comes in like, all right, so where's the artists and where's the hustlers? Know what I mean, where's the, where's the people that really got passion for this shit? And where's the people that got the, that just that just hustling and shit? The I mean? people that got passports right here. But what separates us is that we both. Right. Because you got to eat. The people that they hustle, they got the right idea because you have to eat. This is the business. The industry's been fucking niggas for years and artists, period. Because yep. they don't realize it's a business. They just focus on the art. Yeah. Meanwhile, they're making these hit songs and these record companies are sending their kids to college. Yeah. Over the songs that you made, only your publishing over songs that you sweated blood and tears over. Right. And now they kid going to college and you're up there like, Mickey D's, can I help you please? <laughs> Fries with that. <laughs> so you got to be both. You got to have the business yeah, mind, I, but it's I, the I, art. I so I feel you on that. So the people in this session, like, my man's over there, Reek the Dawn, Pav over here. Yes, sir. Man over here, the songwriter, producer, engineer. Shank Showtime, well, he at the store and shit. But <laughs> he that. He's definitely a name you need to watch out for. Shank Showtime. Yeah, yeah. Outfit, yo. Mr. Reeves. Yeah, good example. Artists and business people. Hey, yo, look out, yo, yo, look for that camera, yo. Look out for Fever, the new beginning, yo. Oh, my mm -hmm. fucking God, yo. Fever, what up, baby? Fever. Yo, listen to this shit. I got this nigga going. He, he's somebody that definitely got passion for this bad shit, yo. He go in. I, would, I call him, but he can't make it right now. But, yo, so the nigga go in. And he got it. He got, you know, he got the it factor. Far as the look, far as the talent, far as everything. He got what it takes to make it. And he, and he brings quality product. You understand? Right, right. And that's, yo, he, yo, he got to do far as music, you know? So, it's like, I, I just, I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. I, I really do got passion for this shit. I really do. I do love music, you know what I mean? But I feel like... Yeah. There's still some things that I still have to work on to make mm -hmm. to have great music. I, I know that's a real you know what I mean? Cause I'm, I'm, no, I'm no Kanye back. West, I'm no Jay, I'm no Jay Z, no Nas. I, I still got to step my you game still up three. to get to that level or get close to that level. All right. But I really do feel like Fever definitely has the potential of being a great artist. So I mean, like, was that shit him? Y'all, y'all know how you're you talking about. You feel me? All right. I mean, but yo. Yeah. He don't want to talk about him doing this shit. How long have you been doing this shit? I've been doing this shit 12 plus years, man. I, 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 I mean, that's so good. You got a passion for this shit. You know what I mean? That's what I do 24-7. I ain't got no regular job. Like, this is my job. This is my career, man. Like, helping to put, bring other people on, too. A lot of talented people, man. My thing to try to do is just be that middle, that middle channel and try to take a nigga from here to here. As well as myself and... and, and, and you know, just everybody just prosper together, man. Like the, the unfortunate thing is, like I've been all the time I've been here engineering and, and doing my thing. I see so many talented motherfuckers come through here, and it just it just it kind of break my heart, man. That niggas, it's a lot of motherfuckers that's in the game right now and ain't taking this shit seriously. See, a lot of people get this shit misconstrued. They think like, yo, I got a deal, I made it. Like I always tell people, nigga, your life just began when you signed that bill. You ain't made shit yet. Just cause you signed your signature on the table don't mean you made it, nigga. You get a little upfront money. Niggas, half niggas don't know. Upfront money is, so, is a budget for your album so you can make your album. Motherfuckers get a budget to go make their album and they end up spending this shit on, on, on other shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and they just feel like, yo, they made it. So a lot of cats tend to slack off. You know what I'm saying? During, during 
making they out like niggas just be like, oh yeah, yeah, just throw that shit, throw that shit, yeah, we gonna run it down. But you niggas don't understand, like signing that shit means you just got this your first day on the job, nigga. You ain't made shit. You know what I'm saying? You just got recruited. The employer just hired your ass. You know what I'm saying? You got to work for the rest of your life. Only you can determine your longevity in this industry. You slack off, your career's gonna slack off. Your name's gonna slack off. Right. You keep hustling, you keep working. That's why niggas like Hov always win. Because niggas never stop working. Hov's damn near 40 years old now. And he's been in this shit since 26 years old. So it's like, dog, depending on what you do, is how long your shit gonna last. You know what I'm saying? Just because you sign or you get sick of a contract, I'll sign my sick of doing many a contract. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that shit don't mean nothing. That just means I have to work harder from the day that I put my signature on that shit. Mm -hmm. That's just I got to do shit. Hey, yo, son, yo, yo, what you going on? What you just saying? A, a lot of rappers, yo. Yeah. A lot of anybody. I don't care what you do. Yeah. You know what I mean? If, if that desire ain't there, you know what I mean? Son, you, it's a rap, son. Oh. Like, you, you know, in, yep. in anything, you gotta have desire for it. Exactly. I don't give a fuck how hot you are, yo. If you yeah. ain't got desire, you ain't going nowhere, son. That's right. Yeah. That's your fuel right there, you feel me? Alright. And I'm gonna. I can move without gas. <laughs> you can be a Lexus, but that shit ain't got no gas. She gonna be staying right there. there. Like, Late, broke it down in layman's terms. If you ain't hungry. <laughs> Word.